<laughs> my dad is a good sport. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out if uh, I'm going to just uh, openly blast him in front of hundreds of thousands of people <laughs> or not. I really want to shine a light and celebrate being a woman. Uh, it's such a celebratory thing. And I'm just so glad that like God has given me this gift and put me in this body uh, to do these amazing things. Hollow Middle School, you know what I'm saying? That's where I played my first uh, school organized ball. Uh, hey, this is crazy. So I ain't never played uh, school basketball ever. I ain't never played school basketball. Uh, we've been practicing. We're getting ready to have our, uh, our first game. Clearly, I'm on 7A. You know, you got A, B, and C teams. Obviously, I'm going to always be on the A team. Um, and so I'm on A team, and progress reports come out, and I got a C. I got a 78 in uh, social studies. And I'm like, hey, yo, it's all good. I'm still passing. Uh, no thing. This is our first basketball game. My daddy made me sit out the very first basketball game that I ever was supposed to play for organized school basketball. And I was, like, confused because I was like, hey, I'm not failing. Like, these are the progress reports. The people that are failing, like, can't play. Like, I am eligible to play. Why? <laughs> and uh, he was like, nah, if you get C's, uh, you're not going to be able to play. And when I tell you I never uh, got another C, uh, I did get another C in, like, pre-AP classes. But I never got, like, another regular C in my life in high school because I was, like, always, like, hey, at any given moment, this man will pull me. Like, he did not care. My daddy's the kind of daddy that will uh, go to a, a restaurant, Popeye's to be exact, right down here, on a number of occasions. <laughs> and if they, like, said something, like, foul or wrong, he'll send all that food back. <laughs> right, at, right at the window. <laughs> <laughs> my daddy is a wild man in that regard but I say all that to say um, that was like that really taught me that you don't operate by the principles that everybody else got you don't operate by the rules that everybody else have you operate how you know you're supposed to operate um, and that has really stayed with me to be honest uh, and all of his other um, cliche sayings Uh, my dad is a good sport, uh, so I'm trying to figure out if uh, I'm going to just uh, openly blast him in front of hundreds of thousands of people <laughs> or not, but uh, man, I love, I love my dad and his presence. His presence is not his greatest accomplishment. I know sometimes like, when we talk about black fathers, like we like want to you know, hone in on the fact that they was present and he was there. And like he never left us. And I'm like, I, I get that and that's cool, but that's not the greatest thing my dad ever did because I wasn't personally never, we you know, worried about him like leaving. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna take a. Watch out, man. Watch out. Yo, do your thing. Oh, it's, it is your turn. Huh? Come on, man. You gonna let me play like that. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Go ahead. Uh, what's up, man? Uh, I'm out here. I'm here. I got kids. Was there ever a time uh, you thought that maybe I wouldn't get married and have kids? And be honest, don't you lie in front of these people? No. For sure. No, I never thought that you wouldn't get married. It had to be a <laughs> special, special guy. You know, because you're special and it's just no common. Well, I've seen you go through some common. <laughs> They face. shall remain yeah. nameless. Exactly. <laughs> nameless. <laughs> and um, none of them had enough energy because you come with you come with quite a bit of energy of your own, and that has to be matched in some aspect. <laughs> so I knew that you would get married, and uh, I was pleased when Corey. Showed up and was the one. I mean, every day I got asked, how was your day? Every day I got grilled about whatever little boy he thought, you know, I was halfway looking at. Like, every single day. And now, man, I'm just so thankful um, that he wasn't just, just present, but he was diligent. Like, my daddy's diligent about uh, looking after his kids. 
I mean, obviously you were a good dad on purpose, but <laughs> almost. Um, obviously you were a good dad on purpose, but specifically with me, what was your what were your concerns about the kind of girl that I was? Not necessarily because I was like something bad or wrong, but if you're a good parent, you just like you know your kids' strengths, you know your kids' weaknesses. So like what you know what I'm saying, like what were your concerns? Of course I thought it was your highly diplomatic state. If to answer your question, your major concern was, hey, would she be able to take care of herself? Yeah, but to I'm but saying. to your yeah, but to your point, I feel like there are you made this your shot. Yeah. I feel like there you can't listen to her. I gotta resort to I gotta resort to something because yeah. I'm just not getting smacked. You know what you need to control? You need to control the one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, five bosses on the table. You have a different time doing that. Not necessarily opportunity, not necessarily opportunity, but there's just some things in life that I've endured that I didn't have to. Right. If I would have just stood up for myself. Right. You know, in the way that you're kind of talking about. I just know for a fact that I watched my dad like over and over again, like make sacrifices that would have individually and to the outside world looked like the moves he should have made. But he did the thing he was supposed to do to make sure that he wasn't just uh, present, but that he was, uh, and I hate to be one of these people that do that, but present. Oh, okay, but still that shot was made. The no. shot was made though. That's not that's not that's not say he called that shot, right? What? It was made. What low is this? <laughs> this let me, is let not... me say this is in the midst of conversation. <laughs> what level is this? Uh -huh. That's it's pretty phenomenal. How many balls do I have left? You got a lot. You got four. You got four. <laughs> Daddy said, uh, <laughs> hey, you don't never do nothing uh, half, uh, how do I say this on camera? Half butted <laughs> for the kids. <laughs> you don't never do nothing half butted. <laughs> what would happen if you had half a butt and you sat on the toilet? You'd always fall in. <laughs> like, I thought that was 
<laughs> the absolute worst analogy of why you don't never do nothing halfway. Uh, but when you physically think about it, now I want you to stop. Physically think about what would happen if you sat on the toilet with just one butt cheek. <laughs> you will most certainly fall in. Your ability to continue steadfast and you continue to produce the same type of caliber of character in everything that you're doing, you know, solid sign, signs of the ability to produce and turn out positive action, you know. I appreciate that. That means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Coming from you know, a parent. I feel like you just said you're proud of me. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you were. Right. Why are you going to tell me? I could have just used a couple words. I feel like he just I said it. I was so, so much more. I was like, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> whether win, lose, or draw, whether I won a game by 30, uh, whether I got beat by, <laughs> by 30, um, my mom and dad always sitting in the stands, always showing up, always there to support. Uh, every award ceremony, every sports banquet, uh, 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 weddings, uh, bringing kids into the world, uh, even this. Like, I told my mom and daddy about this, and, like, my mom wanted to spring into action to, like, help me. I'm like, Ma, you ain't got to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got people in place to, you know, you like, you good. Uh, you could just witness it. Um just always that willingness to to be a part and do whatever it is that uh they need to do for their babies to be successful uh it's just unmatched and like i said i ain't gonna ever like ever 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 have enough words or enough thank yous or enough homage like i i just could never have enough